Hi, this is Regina Y. Favors with Journaling Your Setback. And so the second stage of setback is punishment. And don't forget that Overcoming Setback will be, will be available August 2021. So the purpose of punishment is to address negative and or bad behavior. Without an understanding of what you did wrong, you are doomed to repeat the mistake. How often do you lean on everyone makes mistakes? That's a question question that I want you to think about. So punishment is something that we often avoid. Even the best of us tend to avoid punishment. We will um, look at the situation um, as not necessarily applicable to us, you know, even if we uh, are major contributors to anything that we are receiving punishment for, somehow we have these excuses that, well, you know, I did it because, I did it because, I did it because, right? And the problem with that is punishment still, your bad behavior still has to be addressed. There's consequences to all types of behaviors, good or bad, positive or negative. And the purpose of punishment is to address that negative behavior. That the first stage of setback is that missed opportunity and then you're punished and then you feel the pain of of that particular missed opportunity and until you can get an understanding of what you did wrong you will repeat that same mistake that's why you wonder sometimes why am i still going through exactly the same thing i went through some years ago because you didn't pass that test when you receive the opportunity to pass the test after the punishment or any other uh stage of, of setback, you decided to jump, jump ship, skip ahead, uh, find something that you thought that you can actually be successful in. And that's what we do. We tend to substitute. We don't really go through the, um, we look at the missed opportunity as something as, okay, well, everybody misses an opportunity. And then we look at the punishment as optional. And then we might feel the pain, but we build up a tolerance for it. And so I want you to think about that question. Every, I mean, that particular statement, everybody makes mistakes. Everyone, everyone makes mistakes. The problem with that logic or the problem with that statement is that you cannot lean on that forever. You can't say every time you make a mistake, everyone makes mistakes. At what point are you going to begin to operate in life? with the purpose of actually um, you know, fulfilling the right thing to do in a situation. If you are, you know that a particular road requires you to drive at a certain uh, speed limit. And so you can't drive over the speed limit, 20 miles over the speed limit, and then be pulled, off, pulled over by the car, uh, the cop and, uh, and say to the cop, uh, well, everybody makes mistakes, right? You can't miss a bunch of classes that you need to, uh, I mean, uh, miss a bunch of days that you need in order to pass a class and say, everybody makes mistakes, right? You can't uh, continually cheat on your partner, whoever it is, and then say, when you're caught, everyone makes mistakes, right? And there's a long list of, you know, examples. You just think of any example that is specific to your life. At some point, you're going to have to get out of the habit of making mistakes. That that's becoming a habit and the excuses that you use are, you know, supporting that habit. It's like a drug addict, right? The habit is the drug and then and then you using those excuses to support that particular drug habit. So it's better that you allow punishment to take some sort of place in your life so that you don't have to repeat that again. If you get a bad grade in your um, class, then that's your punishment, right? And the pain of that is having to retake that course while you are now taking other courses, right? And so without an understanding of what you did wrong, you are doomed to repeat the mistake. So I want you to think about it. everyone makes mistakes. I've also used in my life, in my, in, um, in my examples, uh, I was well-intentioned. Okay. Well, you may be well-intentioned in your twenties and your thirties, but by the time you get to your forties, your fifties and sixties, you haven't learned anything at all. You can't be well-intentioned, uh, 50, 60, 70 years old. 
at some point in your lifespan, you're going to have to make a decision that I'm just not, not going to continue to do this certain thing over and over and over again. It's not netting me the right benefits or advantages. So second stage of setback, journaling your setback. I want you to think about those times where you have used everyone makes mistakes, whether you were using them in your you know, financial uh, arenas, whether you were using them in your family arenas, whether you were using them in any other arena that is specific um, to your experiences, your past experiences, and anything going forward that you feel that you might use that everyone makes mistakes because the people surrounding you are affected by your everyone makes mistakes and when you use everyone makes mistakes it's really no different than procrastination and procrastination is basically uh hindering the learning process Hind and and then uh, by default your progress so how often do you lean on everyone makes mistakes is a very good question to think about because um, you can't take that you can't take that kind of thinking um, into new areas of your life. I have another audio about wineskins, old wineskins, new wineskins. You can't take old beliefs and old beliefs, old ways of thinking into new areas of your life and try to use it there because because everyone makes mistakes might have only been available and accessible and usable within one context. You take it to the next level, you could get fired from a job. You can you could lose a partner. You could uh, lose your finances. You can you can lose a lot more as you move up the level. So, journaling your setback, second stage of setback is punishment. Uh, punishment requires that you address the negative and or bad behavior if you don't address your behavior you will repeat it and then i want you to think about the question how often do you lean on everyone makes mistakes thank you for listening to this audio